something you may not have known, too much estrogen or not enough progesterone in your body can actually lead to weight gain, migraines, PMS symptoms, and even breast cancer. So what, if, what can you do if you have a progesterone deficiency? Dr. Stephen Hotze, the founder of the Hotze Health and Wellness Center, has some answers. That's good news. How are you, Dr. Hotze? Doing great, Amy. Glad to be here today. All right. Let's talk about this. What is exactly progesterone? Progesterone is one of the key female hormones that help balance the menstrual cycle. Let me explain in a 28-day cycle, a woman makes estrogen starting on day one. Uh -huh. That's the first day of the period. And that's the stimulatory hormone. Estrogen causes things to grow and stimulate the breast grow, the inner lining of the womb grows, fluid gets retained. It's just a stimulator. Okay. Mid-cycle, a woman will ovulate. And when she ovulates, then she makes progesterone to balance, to counterbalance the estrogen. It's a lot like estrogen's the putting your foot on the pedal. Okay. And progesterone is putting your foot on the brake so it provides a balance and then it, it, it that prepares the womb for a pregnancy if there's no pregnancy the ovaries quit making hormones you slough the inner line of the womb and then you have your period and you start all over so it's this okay. balancing act but what happens as women mature and it can happen at puberty happens after childbirth but by by the time a woman usually hits her mid-30s mm -hmm. her ovaries make less and less hormones and the hormone that falls most dramatically is progesterone so estrogen becomes the dominating hormone in a woman's life and that can lead to a host of problems the symptoms of low progesterone would be fatigue difficulty losing weight inability to focus and think clearly mood swings premenstrually the first signs are premenstrual breast tenderness mood swings fluid retention weight gain migraine headaches well don't those things happen all the time during um, premenstrual syndrome that's and that's so what then, that's, that's, that's what causes it okay now not every woman has problems premenstrually and mm -hmm. some women have, don't have any problems until they hit midlife then they go all of a sudden they start having these problems well that's uh -huh. the sign that your ovaries aren't functioning as well and they're maturing and the hormone levels are declining. So we can feel it when this imbalance is well, happening. I, I haven't been there, but women <laughs> tell me they can. Yes, we can. And I've seen some women who I think that's happened to. <laughs> okay, but sometimes this is not uh, diagnosed by doctors or some often overlooked. Well, unfortunately, most physicians are males and they've never experienced it and they're really not taught about it the natural course in female hormones and how to treat it so they're taught by the drug companies well just give them Prozac or give them an antidepressant or give them a uh, pain reliever for the headaches or a sleep medication when all the woman really needs is a little natural bioidentical progesterone okay, to balance you're out you're a male doctor admitting you might not have all the answers when it comes to women's health or you have to look inside it and see that there's other problems here that maybe I haven't experienced what? that we need to listen to and not just medicate right we maybe could do this that, naturally do it naturally and this is what's so important about progesterone it is a it is it decreases the risk of breast cancer oh, now let me yeah. explain in 1981 the john hopkins school of public health did a study of women that had inability to become pregnant they were infertile and they divided them into two classes women that had mechanical problems maybe a bad cervix bad uh, tubes that just couldn't get pregnant for mechanical reasons uh -huh. the other class had low progesterone progesterone deficiency they studied these women over 20 years and they found that women that had progesterone deficiency premenstrually had a 540 percent a five and a half times increase of breast cancer and a thousand times percent of increase of mortality from all cancers so progesterone deficiency Efficiency is a risk factor for breast cancer. And then when do women get breast cancer? It starts, we start seeing it arise usually in the mid 30s and then it increases and increases. Interestingly enough, after menopause, there's no difference between the women that had the infertility due to the mechanical problems versus the infertility due to progesterone deficiency because neither woman had any progesterone. So once you lose your progesterone, Estrogen's the dominating hormone. It stimulates the breast. And they've even done studies with progesterone in cancer cells and progesterone in vitro in petri dishes. When they grow cancer cells, uh -huh. they put progesterone in it. It kills the cancer cells. Wow. So it's a protective hormone. It's so important for a woman's health. So this is really groundbreaking, what you're doing with your clients. You're, these women must feel amazing after going through this therapy. Well, let me tell you, the first woman I put on progesterone in 1996 told me, I want to kiss your toes. <laughs> and I, I called my staff out and I said, ladies, we're really into something big with this natural bioidentical hormones of progesterone. I don't know where it's going to take us, but it's going to be huge, and it really has been. It's helped thousands and thousands of women. And, and, and progesterone has to be prescribed. They have some in jars at health food stores, but they, they're only allowed to have very small amounts. Mm -hmm. you can, you'd have to slather the whole bottle on yourself. Okay. Yeah. 
So you really need to get a prescription dose. Okay. I need to come and see you and talk about this because so many women, I'm sure, are listening and saying, yeah, this is something that I'm suffering from. I think this is something I'm lacking. Well, and you know, what's interesting is oftentimes when they tell their physicians about these problems, their physicians of, oftentimes make them feel like they're hypochondriacs and mm. give them antidepressants. And so mm. they don't have an answer. All right. Well, progesterone, okay, this is a very fascinating topic. Dr. Hotsey, thank you so much for being here. And you can find out all about the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center by logging on to HOTSEHWC.com. You can also call toll-free 877-698-8698. Okay, we're going to take a short break, but when we come back, the reality...